Ben, and this is my top 16 movies I am very anticipated to see. I was going to do this list in January or early in February, but then a lot of things interrupted. Redesigning my room, this and that happens. Now, before we get to the list, I'm actually going to do an honorable mentions first. Bef normally, people do honorable mentions before they go to number one, but I'm just going to get out of the way and just do the honorable mentions right now. So, one honorable mention is Madam Web. Um, yeah, so I saw that it has a 13 on Rotten Tomatoes, and I thought to myself, nah. like, I was excited for this because it's Spider-Man, and you have all these spider women in, like, authentic costumes from the comics, which I like, but... There are some differences, and um, I heard that, and this movie's getting a lot of hate. So I, so I decided, and I thought if I put it on the list, it'd be a big. Ain't it awful? So I decided to keep it off the list. I'll go, I'll probably go see it. I don't know if I'm gonna like it as a movie or like something about it, but I don't know. I'll have to see. Well. Anyway, so the next honorable mention is Megamind versus the Doom Syndicate. Okay, so I lo love the first Megamind movie and I always, always wanted them to do a sequel like a lot of people. But this is a made for streaming movie and you can tell that it's TV show quality. I'm surprised it's not on Netflix or something, but oh well. But this is supposed to be a start to a TV show similar to how Stitch the movie was a pilot for a TV show for Lilo and Stitch the series, but that one's getting a lot of hate, but I don't know. I'll keep an open mind. I hope I like it, but I am prepared for the worst. Like, maybe it'll be okay, but it is meant for a pilot for a TV show, so I'll try to be more forgiving towards it. Another honorable mention is Craven the Hunter. Um, I don't know, because... Uh, I might go not see it because my mom doesn't like violent movies and it does look pretty gruesome but you know in Sony's habit of their takes on Marvel characters and lesser known Spider-Man characters it might not be good. I I do like that I heard Rhino's going to be an antagonist but uh, we'll have to see. And another one I want to bring up is Borderlands. I my sister loved playing the video games. I I think I own it. I think she gave it to me. I haven't played it yet, but I should. But I hope Borderlands, because it does have an interesting concept, and I haven't played the games, but I don't know what the movie's gonna be like, so I can't really say I'm kind of neutral of how I feel. But it do I do want to get excited about it, so we'll have to see and find out. Another one is Alien Romulans. I. I do like the Alien movies, but knowing that the later movies haven't been as good as the first two, uh, I am prepared if this isn't that good, so I don't know. And I haven't seen Covenant, so I'll have to find out sometime. And another honorable mention is Joker 2. I, I thought the first one was pretty good, but it was a bit sad and a bit aggressive. I do like Harley Quinn's in it. I am a big Batman fan, so uh, I don't know if I uh, how I feel about this, but I hope I do like it. I know a lot of people are like, how dare you make this an honorable mention? This is what really anticipated. I do like L Lady Gaga is played by Harley Quinn, so we'll have to see if she does a, a good, dr a great job. I heard they're going to make it a musical, like how can you not cast Lady Gaga if you're not going to make it into a musical that? But I am excited to see what they're going to do, but uh, right now it's an honorable mention because I don't know what's, what's going to happen, so... You're going to find it funny the some of the choices I'm going to make. You're like, wait, this is your list and instead of and Joker 2 is an honorable mention? Well, I don't know. It's just I might not see Joker 2 because my mom thought the first one was pretty sad and violent and so I don't know if I'm gonna see it but I I'm not the biggest fan of sad and violent movies but I do like Batman I do like the Joker so I'll, I'll have to see what happens in this movie let's begin the top 16 movies I'm anticipated to see now 
there's gonna be a lot of movies in a certain order and you're like wait well, you're excited for this movie but not this or you're excited for this movie more than this movie well this is my own list my own anticipation so i hope you can understand this is my own opinions my own movies i'm excited for you can be excited for own your own movies and do your own list but this is my list of the top Anticipate top 16 anticipated movies. I'm really excited for so let's begin number 16 Rebel Moon part 2 now if you saw my other list. I was excited for the first one and and because I like space adventures and I do like what Zack Snyder does in his movies. I saw the first one. I thought it was all right. I guess the characters needed more personality or something but and but I am excited to see what they're gonna do with the second one I I do want to know what happens next like what's the admiral like he's not a general he's an admiral but I wonder how they're gonna defeat the evil emerald and protect their village and I do want to see what's gonna happen in this in the next one so anyway so never 15 spaceman Originally, I was going to make this an honorable mention because it's Adam Sandler, but then I saw the trailer and I thought it looked pretty sweet. Him being in space, talking to a spider. I don't know if the spider's real or imaginary, but I am really excited to see what's going to happen. And I thought it looked like a very sweet movie of how, of what it can do. I, I hope it is good. His movies are trying, Adam Sandler's movies are trying to be good. Like, I heard good things about Leo. I do want to check that out, but... I hope this one's pretty good. And number 14, um, Venom 3. I do like the first two Venom movies. I don't know what's going to happen in the third one. I, like, I do like Tom Hardy as Venom, and I like Carnage was the main antagonist in the second one. I, I don't know if Spider-Man, like, I don't know if it is a version of Tom Holland's Spider-Man, like, not the MCU, but a variant of him in the Venom universe. I don't know if any, I don't know if there are any Spider-Man movies going to be in there. But I heard it's going to be the last of the Venom movies, like, the full trilogy. Yeah, he has a trilogy of Venom movies. So, I don't know what's the next step in this movie, but I hope whatever happens, it'll be good. Um, or better, or better as what the Venom movies can be so we'll have to find out I don't know who the villain is I wonder if Toxin's gonna be a main villain because they kind of built him up in like the last one like because that cop becomes a Venom uh symbiote possessed called Toxin and you kind of see it at the end of the second one so I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know who the villain is but we'll have to find out so anyways number 13 um Garfield the movie I know yes I put Garfield the movie and as a, on the list set of Joker 2 well I do like the Garfield cartoons and I know Chris Pratt is very different as a Garfield adaptation like I, I liked him fine as Mario I would have preferred Charles Martinet as Mario but he was okay as Mario in the Mario movie but I'm trying to think of how to feel about him as Garfield, and I, but I do like how the animation really captures Garfield, and there looks like there's some heart, and I, and Samuel L. Jackson plays his dad, and I kind of want to see what happens next. I hope it's a fun movie. It's, it looks cute. I, I like Garfield, and it looks like a fun movie. And number 12, Transformers 1. Okay, so this is going to be a new animated movie about the Transformers. I heard the director is J J Joe J Jason or Joey Cooler, um, Cooley, but he's the same director who directed Toy Story 4, and that's a still a really good movie, so I am excited that they're going to try to do some good quality with the uh, was this animated Transformers? I do kind of want it to be a more serious, darker, aggressive version of Transformers. Like, knowing that it's an anime movie, they're going to make it more lighthearted for kids. Like, not too lighthearted, just lighthearted enough. Like, what other Paramount animated movies was and other anime. Yeah, but I'm sure they're going to make it great for families. But I kind of wanted, you know, those Rooster Teeth animated Netflix series of Transformers? 
those were really good. I kind of want to see a more serious, darker take on how they did that, but in like animated form. But I am excited to see what they're going to do, but I hope it's really good. Number 11, Damsel. Okay, so this has Millie Bolly Bone, and she faces a dragon. She was going to get married, but then in the trailer, her husband just throws her off a cliff and is like, you're, you, you must be sacrificed. But then she comes back kicking butt and avenging all the princesses for with a dragon like this is a very different different take like we've seen a lot of different takes on the whole princess and dragon's fairy tale but this feels really epic and i'd like to see what happens in this number 10 if if looks is a cute Ryan Reynolds movie, and he even describes it as a live action movie, but with Pixar quality, like, because it looks really cute, and that it's interesting that it's coming in theaters and not streaming, like, I feel like they could have made it streaming, but I'm glad it's theatrical, it's a cute family movie about Ryan Reynolds, and she has a little girl who sees imaginary friends, and it's interesting. This is the same concept I had, and I, like, I had an idea, like, if they make a live-action Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, they should do it like how put Detective Pikachu did it, like, it's live-action, but the imaginary friends are cartoony CGI hybrids, because I feel like that would work better, but then Ryan Reynolds and the guy who's directing it, it came in as like, nope, I'm making an original take on this, and it looks really cute and f and funny. I like how adorable it looks. I, I would like to see this. Okay, and number nine, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I remember I watched the other three, because this is the fourth installment, and the other three, like Rise, Dawn, War... Those movies, I thought to myself, wouldn't be cool if they were made like a Planet of the Apes where it was like the original one where it's like all the apes all taken over and it's in that kind of CG quality like the other ones. Well, now they're making it one. And it looks really interesting and like they're fighting this evil ape king and there's this woman who is still intelligent, is the only intelligent human and they're trying to find out, but there's the... But the other ape is helping her. I, I actually do want to know what happens in this. It, it might be a bit sad because I'm not going to lie. My mom, <laughs> my mom's a sweetheart, by the way. And my mom and I, the, I will admit, the other ones are pretty sad. So I'm prepared this might be a little bit sad. But I'm, a, I'm still excited to see what they're going to do with this. So we'll have to find out. Number eight, Dune Part 2. Now, this was on my... I believe this was on my last list, but they delayed it for reasons. But I'm excited to see what happens. Like, like the main character goes was the Zendaya character. I forgot their names, but I, they're really, it's really cool. And I like to see what happens. I think he's going to ride those giant sandworms. And I want to know what happens. Like, it looks really epic. And, and the first one was pretty cool. I really like the first one. And I like to see what happens in the second one. Uh, I'd like to see where it goes from next there. Number seven, Furiosa, Ma A Mad Max Saga. Okay, I saw the trailer. I didn't know this movie was getting made, and I saw the trailer, and I'm like, whoa, this looks epic. Anya Taylor-Joy is playing this, and I th think she's doing a great job, and I love the music of how exciting it gets, and I want to know what happens in this, like her origin story, like how her lose her arm. I like the... Furiosa from the Mad Max Fury Road movie like she was awesome in there and I like to see what her origin story is I hope it's really good like Mad Max Fury Road was really good so I'm excited to see what happens next it's interesting critics were going crazy for Fur Fury Road but they were trying to develop a sequel but it's interesting we got all these other movies that got sequels but hey at least we're getting something from Fury Road because that was awesome and I'm excited to see what Furiosa is going to bring us. Number six, Inside Out 2. I really like the first one. I thought the first one was a lot of fun and really adorable. And I'm excited for the second one. Like, Riley's older and she and she has a new emotion called anxiety. And I want to know what happens with this one. Like, And they're going to give us new emotions. And I really want to know what's happened in this one but i hope it's a lot of fun i the first one was great i know a lot of people thinking oh they're making all these sequels oh disney run out of ideas 
Well, may I remind you, in 2023 and 2024, they were making original movies, but then, remember, these movies all bombed because a lot of people didn't want to see them, so they're only making all, Disney's only making all these animated sequels and to Pixar and Disney movies because the other ones bombed and the, the other ones made money, so I'm not, I don't want you to think I'm signing with big corporations, but you gotta understand where this is coming from. But it, with that said, it looks like a lovely movie. The first one was really lovely, and I'm excited to see what the next one is, and they can capture that. I want to know what happens next in this one. Number five, Godzilla x Khan, The New Empire. Oh, I saw the recent trailer, and it looked awesome. Like, they're fighting this evil monkey with the big rope thing and Godzilla and Khan they're not the best of friends but they're like we gotta work together to take down this evil ape I I love the other Godzilla movies even King of the Monsters as polarizing as that one I I did like that one just fine but I love Godzilla vs Khan I love seeing Mecha Godzilla I love that one I love to see what happens next they can't top Mecha Godzilla but I do want to know what happens next. I love that Khan has a big gauntlet, what everyone's saying looks like the Infinity Gauntlet, but it does look pretty awesome. I love Khan as a character, Godzilla as a character. I, I'm well aware of the Japanese one that came out. Um, I heard really good things about that one, but I do like to see that one. I am a bit frustrated of how people, like, don't get me wrong, if the Japanese one's really good, I'd love to see it, but... I don't like that people were like, oh, yeah, I don't like these other good movies because they have out there ideas. Because I do love that the Godzilla movies have really big out there ideas, but, you know, quant quality over quantity, I, I get that. But you don't have to be like, oh, these movies are, the other Godzilla movies are awful because they don't, they all do these ideas instead of these. Like, don't get me wrong, I've. I'm sure the newer Japanese one has great ideas with story and characters, and that one comes first, but you shouldn't bash the other Godzillas. Like, I know the other ones haven't had good reviews, but I still really like the other American Godzilla movies. They're still pretty great, but but I am excited for that Japanese one. I do want to see that one. I forget the title of it, but sorry about that. I, there's a lot of stuff I want to remember, but oh well, but... Anyways, excited for the Japanese one, but we're talking about Godzilla x Con New Empire. It looks really awesome. I love the big ideas. I'm excited to see what they're going to do with this one. I want to know what the eight colony is like. It it does feel like, a, I mean, the other Godzilla vs. Con one, it felt like a King Con movie that just has Godzilla in it. Because when you look at how they focus on King Con in the first one, this feels like uh, the other one, they... F and this one does feel like they're going into more King Khan lore, and Godzilla is just there to help out. But I would like it if it's like a Godzilla and Khan, like explore both of their lores together, like as a team movie. But he's the first name in the title, but you can tell they're trying to be more like King Khan in this one. But with that said, I'm still really excited. I can't wait to see what happens, and it looks like a fun movie. Okay, so... Number four, Kung Fu Panda 4. <laughs> Number four, Kung Fu Panda 4. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I really love the first three K K Kung Fu Panda movies, and I'd love to see what happens in this one. Apparently, he's going to pass down the Dragon Warrior to someone else because he's going to have a bigger role, and there's this new shapeshifter lady who turns into all these different enemies, and the shapeshifter shapeshift into Tai Lon, but because he got Tai Lon's power, so I want to know what happens in this. And my mom's excited for it because she loves the Kung Fu Panda movies too. I hope they do a Super Mario Bowser joke because the Kung Fu Panda movies are owned by DreamWorks and they're owned by Universal. And Universal owns Illumination and they did the Mario movie. So I'm hoping they do like a, a Mario joke because Jack Black voiced Bowser and he voiced Kung Fu Panda. So... And they played the don't don't do do the music that was in the Mario movie and Kung Fu Panda 4. 
So I do want to know if they're going to do a joke about that. But with that said, I'm really excited. I do like the new friend Poe's interacting with. I, I do want to see more about his family. Like, I really love the family stuff in the second one and the third one. But, like, Poe's people. And I really like the Prime Video one where it's the children's story. But I haven't seen the Netflix one. But I, I'll, I'll get to that. But with that said... I'm really excited to see Kung Fu Panda 4, so we'll have to see and find out and how it does. Number 3, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Now, I love Ghostbusters Afterlife, and I love the other Ghostbusters too. I, I kind of like the women Ghostbusters. I thought that movie was, oh, just okay. I know that wasn't as good as the original. Like, it's not the original, but, you know, I, I do like the original more, but, yeah... But I am excited to see Frozen Empire because my only nitpick was that I would because there was no Slimer for some reason. But I do like that Slimer's in it. I'll, but I do I do like that this one is taking place in New York and feels like more even more Ghostbusters. Like it's in New York. It has the characters because the original cast was in Afterlife at the very end, and I like that we're getting more of them and we're, we're they're gonna fight like an evil frozen ghost like what's gonna happen but anyways yeah my nitpick was i just said my nitpick was slimer but no the other nitpicks were like the main cast were at the very end of afterlife and and i did like the little village they the small town they were in that i thought it was nice but i do like in this one it's new york and they're and the main cast are in there but and Slimer, I, I, cause little, yeah, it was a little tiny nitpick, but I, I am glad Slimer's in it because I really like Slimer and I even have a little Funko Pop of Slimer. Yeah, I really like Slimer. I thought he was funny. I loved him in the cartoon, like the old 80s cartoon. So I can't wait to see what they're going to do with this one, but I'm excited for like everything else. Now, before you all be like, oh, you're just excited for this because it's Slimer. No, no, no. I'm. Sorry if you misunderstood what I meant. I'm really excited for everything else. I love the cast. I love Paul Rudd in the Ghostbusters Afterlife, and I love to see what happens to this. This feels like a, a really like a Ghostbusters movie. The other one did feel. I do like to call Ghostbusters three, but this one feels even more Ghostbusters, like the Ghostbusters sequel we wanted, like the original cast, and I do like the new characters suiting up and Walter Pax returning. That's that's gonna be funny. I. I want to know what that's going to be like. I wonder if he's the mayor in this now, but we'll have to find out. So anyways, I'm really excited. And okay, so number two, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I really love the first ones, the first two Sonic the Hedgehogs. I love the first one, but the first one kind of felt like a movie that just happened to be Sonic the Hedgehog rather than a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. What I mean is, like, think of the premise. It's about an interdimensional alien creature being hunted down by an evil mad government scientist, and he's teamed up with a police officer. It just all happened to be a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Like, with that logic, you could have made it like a Felix the Cat movie or a Roadrunner movie. But the second one really felt like Sonic the Hedgehog, like him teaming up with Tails, going on a treasure hunt, finding the Master Emerald Knuckles, and... Jim Carrey looking like his Eggman counterpart. I I like that. And the giant robot, Eggman robot. I, I really like that. So I'm excited for this one. I heard Live and Learn might make a theme appearance. I'm really excited for that. And I actually played Sonic Adventures 2. And I actually finished the first part. I haven't played the, the, the Team Dark game yet but i finished the good part yeah where he's racing with shadow i actually finished it so i'm really excited to see what happens in this one i heard they're gonna adapt a little bit but like the second one adapt the from the second and third sonic games where he, knuckles teams up with robotnik so i and there was some inspiration from that but i am excited to see what happens in the third one like like shadow's gonna be in it i heard rumors that maybe Amy and Rouge the Bat might make an appearance, but I don't know. I do like that Shadow is going to be in it. I'm really excited to see what Shadow... I don't know who's going to voice him. I have heard rumors that uh, Hayden Christensen was going to voice him, but then I heard another guy was going to voice him, so I don't know. But 
I am really excited to see what's going to happen in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I did like that teaser trailer, and so I'm really excited to see. It comes out in December. Okay, and the last but not least, number one, Deadpool and Wolverine. Oh, hey. I really like the first two Deadpools, but I'm really excited for this one because he's part, he's officially part of the MCU. Like, it's a original Fox Marvel movie that had nothing to do with the MCU that tried to be X-Men related, but now he's gonna be part of the MCU, and I love that the TVA are in it from the Loki show. I'm really excited to see the TVA, like, there might he might get in trouble with the whole time travel shenanigan from, like, at the end of the second one, but... We'll have to see and find out that. I love that Wolverine is in it, and I like he's wearing a comic book accurate suit. I heard he's going to wear the mask. I can't wait to see what happens in, the, in this. I I wonder who the villain is. Like, I'm still wondering that, but either I wonder if the TVA is going to be a, a villain, but I wonder what other MCU and X-Men characters are going to appear. I'm really excited to see what happens. So, anyway, so that's my top 16 list of movies what did you thought of the list you probably think i'm a like a little kid like because i have a big mustache you probably be like who's this older man talking about his mom and being like and being a mustache and having a funny childish bedroom hey my bedroom's awesome okay so i would love to live on my own but i have asperger's syndrome so it's really hard for me to live on my own and I live with my mom because that's kind of easier and I could find a roommate but as but housing's really expensive in Canada and I live in Canada so it's really hard to find a place right now but and I do lo love living with my mom because if you saw my other videos my mom has been feeling a lot of sick and sorry I'm getting really personal but yeah right now we kind of need each other because we both need to take care of each other but Anyway, so that's my top 16 list of movies I'm really anticipating to see. Which list are you in? Ex what movies are you excited to see? I Chances are a lot of people are probably excited to see Joker too. I do like Lady Gaga is going to play Harley Quinn, but we'll have to see and find out. So anyway, that's my list of movies I'm really excited about. I hope you enjoyed this list and see you next time.